Consistent with that is one of the founders of quantum physics, Max Planck, 1900, studying black body radiation, discovered that energy is not steady and continuous. It pulses. It's there, then it's not there. There, then it's not there. Once again, our good friend Einstein discovered with the photoelectric effect that energy itself is quantized, hence quantum physics. It exists in packets. I believe that Planck's constant, which is 10 to the minus 33, imagine 10 with 33 zeros minus centimeters, or 10 to the minus 43 seconds is the, the pulse at which the universe is created. The universe is created at that level. Physical reality blinks on and off, on and off, which is interesting because there was an ancient philosophy that said motion is impossible. Motion can't really exist. And there's some suggestion that what happens is you're in physical existence, you blink off and you come in here, blink off and you come here, and so forth. Reality pulses. Now, one other mention of something in quantum physics, and I'm going to try to tie this together with a, a, a different message. Quantum physics is the most verifiable, predictable of all the sciences. <laughs> we would not have many of our discover we would not have put a man on the moon without quantum physics. Uh, uh, LCDs and many other discoveries are. It's incredibly consistent. And here's what quantum physics discovered. Um, using uh, the concept of the wave function. If you fire, like remember the double slit experiment? If you fire your, your light, it will form a predictable pattern. Kind of like crowd behavior every time. That is, unless you actually observe an individual particle. And then it becomes absolutely indeterminate and unpredictable. Unpredictable. Remember the beryllium atoms. As long as you watch them, they don't behave unconsciously anymore. Nor does the photon, nor does the electron, nor does anything else in the universe. Uh, like the esoteric uh, philosopher and teacher Gurdjieff used to say, every year a certain number of people will die getting run over in trams in Moscow. And indeed, statistically, X number of people will die of firearm deaths, auto accidents, get cancer, heart disease, drink poison and die, and whatever. I say it is because they when you are consciously asleep, you are subject to the law of accident. Something is operating, and you're being kind of buffeted along. Are you creating your reality? You are, but you're creating it unconsciously. What causes your reality to be created? Well, it happens at a higher level, but what selects what reality is going to be created? You do. How do you do it? Through your beliefs and expectations, period. That's it. That's how it works. Shit. Oh, man. The fact that the matter is the substance.